Now, when you're looking to get the best Wi-Fi setup, you want to get the most from your money. I recently did a video on Amplify versus Unify and reasons to buy and not to buy. If you missed this video, there's a link popping up on the screen now and there's a link in the description below if you want to watch it later. However, in today's video, we're going to take a look at what gives you the better speed and range. We're going to be putting the U6LR up against the Amplify Alien. Now, I do have the additional mesh point, but I'm only going to be setting up the single unit itself. So we're going to put it to the test and see what gives you the better download speed. I'm going to be using the Wi-Fi Man app to see what gives you the better speeds. And in case of the U6LR, it gives me throughput testing. So I'm going to show you the live throughput when we run through the tests. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like and comment down below. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you very much. Your support is always appreciated. Anyway, let's jump straight in. Before we jump into the testing of the U6LR of the Wi-Fi speeds, let's just have a quick look at the settings that we have set up here. So I've got my Unify set up in the background. Um, you can see the device of the U6LR here. And let's just go to the RF config. So as it stands on the 2.4 gigahertz, I have the uh, 20 megahertz channel um, set and channel set to auto and the transmit power to medium. And with the 5 gigahertz, I've got it set to 80. Uh, channel again auto and the transmit power medium. I have done a video on optimizing this. So if you want to check that out again, I'll pop the link in the description below. You can have a little look at that after. Scrolling further down, Band steering is turned off. Uh, channel usage is obviously what's being used at the moment. Um, and I have run a scan previously. Again, in that other video, I do run a scan to show you what's around in the network, um, around in the neighborhood, sorry, so we can choose the correct, most optimized channel. Now, this is me running the test right next to the device. Now, for the U6LR, I'm using the Wi-Fi throughput capability, just because I know my internet speed maxes out at 620 or 630 megabits per second. So what I actually want to show you is how much more you can get through with the U6LR. Now, unfortunately, with the Amplify one, you're not able to use the throughput test, so we'll be using the speed test, but it gives you a rough idea of how it works and how much speed through, how much speed you can get. So. I guess with this one, I would max out at 620 megabits per second if that's what I was doing. So let's go ahead and press play. So you can see I'm stood right next to it at this point and I'm getting around 750 and it's climbing up and it climbs up a little bit higher all the way up to 800 almost. So that's quite decent standing right next to it, but obviously that's not the standard, cap standard use case that you would be. You're not always gonna be right next to your access point. Then I took another one which was sat at this desk here. So I'm approximately three to five meters away from the access point. Uh, there's a stud wall and some wardrobes in the way. Um, so let's see what sort of speeds we're getting with this one. So you can see here we're averaging around about 500 megabits per second, dropping a little bit below, a little bit higher. So with my internet speed, I would be getting approximately 500 megabits per second from my desk. So that's fairly good. And you can see this is all using the five gigahertz range. Um, and I mentioned that because I move on to the next one. Now this one is a little bit longer. Um, and the reason for this is I wanted to show you. So I'm walking from my access point upstairs all the way downstairs to see what the signal is. The reason I've actually done this and I pointed out that it's five gigahertz earlier is because right at this point, it actually switches to 2.4 gigahertz. Now we all know that five gigahertz is great in terms of speed, but it doesn't give you as much signal strength or it doesn't give you as much distance as the 2.4 gigahertz. So actually when I walk to the furthest point in my house, um, the 2.4 gigahertz kicked in and I'm getting around about 40 megabits per second. So this is, I would say, I'm approximately about 20 meters away from the access point now. Brick walls in the way, stud walls. Um, so you're, you're, you're a fair distance away from this um, and we're getting 40 megabits per second. Before we move on to the speed test with Amplify, I wanna quickly show you how I've got this set up as well. Just to show you, I've tried to make this test as controlled as possible, keeping the access points in the same place and keeping the settings the same as much as I can. So let's have a quick look at how I set up the Amplify devices. So you can see the mesh point is actually offline at this point. I didn't actually have the mesh point on. Go into wireless. Um, and if we scroll down to the bottom, I have band steering turned off and router steering turned off. Uh, into advanced, you can see I'm running, on the 2.4 gigahertz, I'm running a 20 megahertz bandwidth. 
and on the 5 gigahertz I'm running 80 megahertz. So it's exactly the same as how I set it up. There's no difference in terms of how the channels are assigned. I did turn off both access points as I was running the test. So when I turned Unify, when I turned the Unify devices on, I had the Amplify off, and when I had the Amplify on, I turned the Unify devices off. So hopefully there was no signal interference in that sense. So let's jump into the first tests. So the first one was right next to it. So we can see we're pushing, stretching nearly up to 600 megabits per second with this one, which is fairly good. Um, this one will actually give you an upload speed as well, but as I mentioned, my upload speed is only around 40 to 50, so um, it's showing 60 on here, so I'm quite surprised with that. I don't think I would actually get 60 megabits per second as an upload, but from the test we're running today, that's not really what we are looking at at this point. Then we move on to sitting at the desk, which is where I am at the moment, and you can see I'm probably getting a similar sort of result as to what I was getting with the Amplify, uh, with the Unify, sorry. So 530 megabits per second, which is fairly good. Um, and the upload again, it's a little bit lower. It's showing 50 at the point. Again, I've not seen more than 40 in terms of uploads, so I'm not quite sure if this app is correct in terms of uploads, but downloads, it definitely sounds about right. And last but not least, we have the one at the furthest point of the house. So exactly the same point as where I was in terms of the Unify one. I've stood with the Amplify one using the same app. And let's have a quick look at the speeds we're getting here. So we're actually getting a little bit better here. We're getting about 85, 80, 80 megabits per second drops down a little bit to 60, 70. So again, very good in terms of the distance. We're again over nearly 20 meters probably away from it. And, and that's giving a really good speed. So to put this into perspective, you can see the results coming up on screen now. So from when we were close by, yep, you might say you're using a different app, but I just wanted to show you the throughput in terms of the, the capability. If the Amplify one was able to go further, I would expect it to go to about 620, 630, a little bit higher, because that's what my maximum internet speed is. If it wasn't able to give me that, then I know it's less than what it was. Uh, the throughput from the Unify was 780 megabits per second right next to it. I'm sure the throughput of the Amplify would be just as high. Uh, I'm not saying it's any less, but I'm just saying my internet connection caps out at 620, 630. Moving a little bit further away, so with five meters, we had the same sort of results. So 530 megabits per second is what it maxed out at, um, which again, sitting a few meters away, um, that is very good uh, for an internet connection. And finally, the big difference was when we were a little bit further away. With the Amplify one, we got about 70 to 80 megabits per second. It pushed up to 100 at one point um, in terms of internet speed. So when I'm on the right on the other side of the house, I'm more than happy with, with that sort of speed. And the Unify one dropped to 2.4 gigahertz. So it dropped down to 802.11n. So, and I was getting around about 40 megabits per second again, just for internet browsing, if I just had my phone on the other side of the house, I would be perfectly happy with this. I hope this video helps you in terms of decision making, in terms of what Wi-Fi speeds you can get throughout the house with either system. Let me know down in the comments below which one you would probably go with. In terms of investment, they might be fairly similar, but in terms of capability within configuration, there's a lot more difference. I've done another video on Amplify versus Unify and reasons to buy and not to buy. The links are in the description below, so feel free to check them out. The products used in this video are in the description below. They are linked to my Amazon affiliate account, so if you do buy them, it does help me out. For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.